So in the mailbag today, I received an email from Iron Bar Jim, and Jim asks, Hey Clive, how good soup? And I responded, Pretty bloody good. During these uncertain times, it's a bit you know, frustrating that you can't go down to your cheap and cheery Chinese. I'm looking at you, Happy from the City and Tacky and Dixon, and go and get something that's just really simple, tasty. Today when I was at the markets, I found this little monster, a 1.2 kilo mud crab. And I'm going to make crab and corn soup. Alright, well the first thing we need to do is um, cook the cream and, and cook the crab to get all the crab meat. Um, I've got here a male, he's moving around a bit, he wasn't as big earlier, but he obviously wasn't in long enough. And see the male there, the nice pointy one, the females have a lot of fat up uh, shell down here. So that's a male. Um, and I must say that um, I always thought that crabs were kind of like um, fish that the females laid their eggs and then the crab came along and put the stone on them to fertilize the eggs, but they actually had some um, intercourse and the male crab inserts its two prongs called gonopods into her gonopods um, and impregnates the female um, with those um, just to cut crab sex. Um, it's amazing what they're going to have. Oops, and it's alive. So I'll lift that up and then straight down the middle. Alright, in a big pot, put in some water and a fair bit of salt. And we're going to drop the cleaned crab halves in. So you can see that that's nice and clean now. Just going to drop that in and then get the other one. Put that in too and put the lid on. And I reckon that's going to take about Mm, it'll be about 10 minutes. It's a so while the crab's cooling, um, chop up the vegetables and stuff and put in. Um, can I just say that you know, cooking crab in your home, uh, it really has a very special flavour, how do I describe it? It's kind of a, a cross between a septic tank and a, a fish market. Um, smells bloody awful, but it's just a fantastic. So, we'll start off with the corn. So just as the corn starts to caramelize, it starts going a little bit brown. Um, that's the time to add some Chinese cooking wine. I'm using mirin today, probably about a quarter of a cup. If you don't have Chinese rice wine or mirin, you can use sake, or you can even go with a little bit of um, white wine as long as it's, it's nice and dry. Um, cook that for a couple of minutes to burn off the alcohol. <laughs> Add the stock. Today I'm using the stock merchant free rate chicken stock. Let that come to the boil and then let it simmer for 20 minutes. Now I'm going to blitz it and make it into a really nice smooth, um, smooth soup and then add two cups of water to it. I'm just going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce. So I've just reheated the corn soup. Uh, just coming up to the boil, I'm going to put in the, um, the, prawn, the um, crab pieces, give them a bit of a stir. Now, there's no need to, um, to bring this back up to the boil because it's, um, you know, the crab's already cooked. And then, just as it comes back to the boil, um, whisk through some uh, two egg whites that I've already whisked up. Um, and just pour it in really, really slowly. And that's how you get the lovely stringy bits of egg through the soup. And you don't want this, you want that off the heat by this stage. And then uh, pour it into the bowl. Guys, guys, did you know that when... Mm. 
cow goat soup.